We are at the legendary West Charlotte High School with one of the most influential people in the state of North Carolina when it comes to culture of basketball. Howard legend, all American. Three times. Three, three times. <laughs> We're talking pocket. We have Coach Gosnell White. We are so happy to have you, Coach. What's going on? Yeah, man. Talk I'm to me. I'm just talk so to glad me. you guys found me. I'm glad Harold found me. I'm not hard to find. <laughs> I love Charlotte. So I've been here. And I'm, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Yeah, we appreciate you. And you have no idea. Today, we are at the legendary. West Charlotte High School with one of the most influential people in the state of North Carolina when it comes to the culture of basketball, high school basketball, <laughs> AAU, and also, you know, just as a mentor. Once again, we got another legend. Thank y'all. Please like, subscribe, and follow both sides of the game podcast. Myself, Coach Howard Johnson, working. Shout out to Derek working. Shout out to Corey, who's not here right now. But we got a guy, man, that was almost like a mythical person. <laughs> I hadn't seen him since I was in the sixth grade, and I only seen him maybe a couple times, but super successful. We found him. We found him. Shout out to Coach, man. Good job. <laughs> uh, he um, said, he how do you find him, Coach? I said, yeah, listen, man. He was, he was it's almost like a mythical type of type of figure for us and he did so much for so many kids out of West Charlotte High School you know through this basketball set I had to hold a pill today for this one because you can feel the tradition in here Howard legend all-american three I, times three times so we're talking <laughs> pocket we have coach Gosnell White we are so happy to have you here, Coach. What's going on, man? Yeah, man, talk I'm to just, us. Talk I'm to glad it. you guys found me. I'm glad Harold found me. I, I'm not hard to find. <laughs> I love Charlotte. So I've been here, and um, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Absolutely. Yeah, we appreciate you. Yeah. So just to, just to go back, because um, when you told me you three-time All-American at Howard, running track, track Correct. star. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. Where did that start? I wanted to start with that because that's something I didn't know that was interesting. No. Right, no. right. A, a lot of people don't know that, and a lot of people ask me, uh, like, how in the heck you a basketball coach? My mm -hmm. dad was a basketball coach, but um, I played football here at West Charlotte in the 10th grade. Mm -hmm. But in the 10th grade, I got an offer from Howard University to wow. run track. And so they stopped me from playing football and uh, so I concentrated on basketball and football. Yeah. And uh, I was just good at track. You know, I was blessed. Smash. I love mm -hmm. basketball practice. I hated track practice, but <laughs> I was good at it. Right. I started running when I was 10 years old. They had the uh, Stuart Allen uh, summer track at Miles Hall. Mm -hmm. I won 100, 200, and 400 <laughs> at, at 10 years old. Wow, yeah. cleaned up. Clean up, yeah. yeah. So that was my 400 was my actual best race when I got to college. But uh, yeah, I, I ran 12 flat when I was 10 years old, but it was 100 yards. That's and, still uh, tough. Yeah, that's, that's hard nice. to do. Yeah. Did you do? Did you run relay? I was the leadoff man. That's how I got all American. We were had the best. Uh, we had the best time in the nation mm -hmm. at Howard. Yeah, and I was the leadoff man. My coach used to call me the best leadoff man in the nation. Because my job was only to keep us close. <laughs> we had some we had some horses on the end. Yes. That's amazing. It is. I was blessed. Absolutely. How was the transition from track to basketball? Like what was what was it about? You know what I'm saying? Well, like, um track I was good at, but basketball was the love of my life. And as you probably know, some of the things I told you. Mm -hmm. I um I studied the game. Yeah. You know, I read books when I was nine or ten. And, mm -hmm. You know, the perfect jump shot. You know, they didn't have clinics and all that then. Yeah. But I ended up, um, when I was in, I, I studied so much, I found camps. I went to John Wooten camp oh. at Campbell wow. University. Yeah. It's supposed to be the best camp in the nation and all that. Yeah. My dad sent me. Mm -hmm. 
And that's when the bus drop you off on the side of the road. Right. <laughs> you just got to find your way camp, to the campus yeah, or something. Yeah, and then you walk. <laughs> well, yeah, the camp, camp was right across the street. So I did that two years, and uh, I just loved the game. And my dad was a basketball coach. Yeah. I think I told you, he coached, uh, he was Davis's dad. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. At Carolina. Yeah. He coached Big yeah. Hubert. So Hubert, Harry, and Herbert played for my dad at mm. Sterling before they shut it down. And then they, um, they were probably one of the original class of African Americans that went to South Met. Yep. But Coach Price would never play all three of them at the same time. <laughs> why? How to like, what? Why? <laughs> like, that was the question my dad always asked me. If he had, they would have won the state before Bobby Jones. For Bobby Jones, yeah. Walter Davis. Walter Davis. Just Davis. for those that uh, that don't know, Hubert Davis is now the head the coach, coach of Carolina. University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, and coach's dad coached his dad. So Correct. that's real history. I never even knew that. You know what's ironic? It that's had it on uh, too. It had yeah. on, uh, the last game. What well, the Duke game? They mm -hmm. showed a picture of uh, Hubert Davis's dad. Oh yeah. Talking because it was uh, Black History Month. Wow. And I was like, I wanted to call you or text you and let you yeah. know. Yeah, they had a pick because he went to J.C. Smith. Okay, Great yeah. player, J.C. Smith. Mm -hmm. Shout out to John C. Smith. Coach Joyner. Joyner yeah. Jr. Yep, yep. He's now the AD here at West Charlotte. There's a lot of history going on. What you got, Coach? Well, uh, again, welcome, everyone, Thank you. everybody, to uh, both sides of the game podcast. And like I said, I... I was revved up today, man. I, I went shaved up, got ready. Because you, <laughs> you, know, yeah, you know, because you know, this is this is big, man. I Plus, it's it. Black History Month, and we got to yeah. share it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we got to stop this. Well, this, this, no, this is we got to put it out there. Mm -hmm. I'm not knocking nobody else race, but you know, it seems like everybody else pushing theirs out. Why we can't push ours out? So anyway, Coach, I just want to just get right into it with you, man. Um, Talk to me about when you first started coaching here in Charlotte and, uh, you know, just, just going to, like, when you really got your feet wet with winning championships and, <laughs> and, 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 and getting some good players. Okay, okay. It, it all started, I graduated from Howard in 77, uh, mm -hmm. and I interviewed for all kinds of jobs. I wanted to stay in uh, Washington, D.C., Right. But uh, my mom and dad called and said, we got you an interview at Ransom Junior High. Wow. And um, so I flew in for the interview and got the job. Mm -hmm. So I coached ninth grade basketball at Ransom. Okay. And on my first team at Ransom Junior High, you know, I had um, Carlton Baxter, Frank Henderson. Wow. We went 12 and 2. First championship, <laughs> first year. And Frank Henderson became one of the players that Coach McCullough regarded as one of the best ever at West Charlotte. Went to Winston-Salem State. Oh. Carlton Baxter, his career ended a little earlier, but could really, really, really play. His son, C.J. Young, played for me also. I remember yeah. his son, yeah, C.J. Yeah. was tough. Now, you know, if you talk to tough. Steph Curry, he, ra he rated C.J. real high on one of the players he didn't want to play against. Made him know? tough, made it tough, made, made him tough. tough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was my first team, and we went 12-2. and two. Junior so, high but school. But, you know, that's all I was about, right. championships. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a fact. So, yeah. you know, well, that's all we played for. And uh, and that's where it all began, you know. So, yeah. um, so from junior high school, you know, I mean, you tearing it up, how did you wind up here? Well, we as you you know, it started and ended a little bit better. Okay. And, you know, as I kept, you know, the tradition started that first uh -huh. year. And uh went on to have players like Steve Rivers, University of Tennessee, DeMarco Johnson, wow. UNC Charlotte. Wow. Kenneth Wilder, UNC Charlotte. Wow. Mario Hansen, his son's at Chambers right now. Wow. Big Mario played for me, went Mario. to uh Play with Terrell Owens at what East Tennessee State. Yeah. And we went 14 and 0 with Kenny Wiley. Wow. Went to UNC Charlotte. The next, in you know, the next year we had Mario Hanson, and Steve Rivers. We went 12 and 2. And then the next year with Bodrick Bass, Derek Rule, 
Mario Hansen, we went 14 and 0. Can't keep so up we with these names. 40 and 2 over that three year stretch. 40 and 2 over 40 three years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. so that's when the legacy started. That's like when, that. Yeah, and that's when all the stuff started yeah. about, like, is he coming to West Charlotte? Yeah. And Coach McCullough and I used to talk about it. But I'm like, yeah, that was my dream job. I didn't want to go no further than right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I waited. I stayed ninth grade level a long time until I did AAU for a couple of years. Right. And it's, uh, you know, the, it started to fester, you know, like right. he might be a good high school coach or whatever. Right, your name started getting yeah, kicked around. Yeah, it started around. getting out there. Well, and well we what, went, what, what AAU team did you, did you uh, start out I did out the with? Charlotte Royals wow. for two years. I did wow. the 14-year-old team one wow. year. And it, I couldn't finish the year because they had the ruling where you couldn't coach more than four players from the same team. Right, yeah. Yeah. But the next year it changed. So I coached the 15 year olds and we went 40 and two. Oh, right. With uh, Titus Ivory, Rainer Moore, Kelvin Clyburn, Carlos Brown, Concho Brown, played football at uh, Penn State. Yeah. Josh wow. Hennigan went to play basketball at Carolina. Carlos Brown went to uh, College of Charleston. Kelvin Clyburn went to A&T. Coach, and, uh, you got it. You got it. You got alumni. You just ran down on us here. Yeah, Rainer Moore. His dad was coach of J.C. Smith. Rainer wow. went to South Carolina State. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, I, I can tell you this. I know, uh, and Morrow can attest to this. We were like, when we met with you yeah. at lunch, <laughs> right. and you was giving us so much. <laughs> and I think I I, uh, I posed a question on you. Um, you know, um, both sides of the game. People were like, oh man, like, what does that really mean? That means. What it is, both sides of the game. What side are you on, the good or the bad? And I think I asked you, could you name some of the guys that could have made it that didn't make it? Yes, Lord. I can't. Well, you know, and <laughs> you that's, know that's, that's a good, tough question. Oh, man. But, uh, you know, and, and see, that was the thing I was asking you and Anthony was, uh, how far do you want me to go back? Man, go know? back. <laughs> go, go back, because, again, and, this is history. And, uh, we want to yeah, get this. It was the guy here at West Charlotte. Because I grew up right behind the, the baseball field. Are you kidding me? No, no. I was six years old. I used to come up here and watch practice, football practice. And, uh, I, you know, I just know, I know the area. Yeah. And, uh, man, it was some players that came through here. And uh, just to name a few. It will take me all day to keep you here for all of them. But uh, C.J. Montgomery was one of my favorite players. Wow. 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 Yeah, so CJ. CJ Montgomery. Man, he we used to play. Laurenberg Institute was on the schedule for Coach McCullough. Mm -hmm. Man, Charlie Scott, the first African American to play in Carolina. Charlie Scott was on the Laurenberg Institute team. Yeah, I didn't know that because I, yeah. I don't know why I thought Phil Ford. I always think Phil Ford, but I think Charlie Scott was before him. Oh yeah, so, uh, Phil Ford was with me. And Walter oh, okay. Davis, right. yeah, Phil okay. Ford, okay. you know, uh, Walter Davis, see. That's just, hey, I'm just showing my age. My you are. You're young. <laughs> you're young <laughs> Walter Davis, see, Walt D, Walt D, Walt D and Hubert, they're, they're brothers. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Walter Davis and Hubert Davis' dad are brothers. Hubert Davis at Carolina is the nephew wow. of Walter Davis. I ain't that's some crazy. That Lou makes Massey. sense, though. Lou Massey, that played in South Mac, is uh, the Lou cousin. Yes. Yeah, he was uh, a Walter's his uncle or something like that. They all in the family. Wow. Shout out to South Mac, man. Yeah, out of South South Mac. Yeah. We could never go to the state playoffs because when we played, we had to play South because yeah. only the tournament champion went to the uh, yeah went to the state yeah, playoffs right. in public school. Yeah. Well, here's yeah. a guy. Here's a guy. You when we met with you when I had at lunch. Johnny Edwards. <laughs> Tell me about that guy. Hey, Johnny Edwards is unbelievable, man. He played at Quail Hollow when I had Frank Henderson at Rancid. Why? And it was two Why? different right. leagues, you know, in junior high. And Nathan Kelton was the head coach at Quail Hollow. Wow. And they wanted to play us just to see because, you know, what, you know the talk. Yeah. yeah. Who's better? But they say, well, we say that for when they get to high school. We wanted to play that game. They had a real, real good, but Johnny Edwards was special. Yeah. They had a, 
Not this Harold Johnson, but on the Channel 9 News, Harold Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had a highlight. Yeah, 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 of Johnny yeah. Edwards Duncan on Thurl Bailey. Hey, ho. When he was at East Carolina. He was 6'6, chiseled like a Greek god. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if he lived the waist or not. I don't know what happened. If it was God given, he was unbelievable. Man, Johnny unbelievable. Edwards, man. Johnny Edwards. You can ask anybody over there at the West Boulevard area. They know Johnny Edwards. Johnny they Edwards. Will, yes, Johnny yes. Edwards. He well, was one of them. Well, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a strategy guy when it comes to, I, you know, give me some of your, your strategy you use. Was it the press defense? Was it just, you know, you drop back in the zone? Like, what is it that you love to do that, that pushed you to the level that you earned in the time? <laughs> It's the press. It's the press. It's because the press. Uh, I just felt like you couldn't be comfortable doing whatever you wanted to do. Mm. Wow. And, and so, people don't know. I stole the press from John Thompson man, added my little wrinkles. Whoa. It was the one, two, one, one. That's what I called it. Joy mm -hmm. Sat. Yep. But mm. we added two and three traps too. Oh. And, See. And people try to secret. run it. They try to steal it right now. They trying to run it, but they think it was a one, two, two. But they don't know the rotations. And matter of fact, when I was at Harding, we scrimmaged the USA team. Girls, Cheryl Swoops, Dawn Steady, Lisa mm -hmm. Leslie. Yeah. Tara, what's her name, Vanderveer at Stanford. Wow. She was coaching because I worked at Hornets camp. So they said they wanted to play, you know, scrimmage somebody while they were here right. practicing. I was at Harding. Carlos Brown, Kelvin Clive, Gerald Johnson, Petey McNair. Mm -hmm. We scrimmed them. And, you know, we was like, you know, the kids were kind of like, didn't know how to play girls. But when like, Lisa Leslie shot Reverend Clive, he's a preacher now, Kelvin yeah. Clive, shot him a little chicken wing in his chest. <laughs> he said, Coach, I'm about to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he get ready to put it on. Yeah, and, yeah. Hey, I said, but you know me, when it got to a point where, like, we don't do nothing if we don't win. Right. Yeah. We put the press on. We put that one, two, one, one up. After we finished scrimmaging, Ted Vanderbilt came to me and said, Coach, can you show me that press? Oh, yeah. And, you, see. and she done won, what, over a thousand games. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, I, that's one of the things. Couldn't I couldn't wait remember. to ask you that. I couldn't yeah. wait to ask you, man. How, but what yeah, was it? You know, what was it that you. know, and they want to scout me all the time. I ain't changing nothing. I might take the press off right. and say, you know, I play your man. Right. <laughs> And then when you think you're comfortable, here it comes. Come, the press coming press right back. Press coming right back. Yeah, I ain't changing that. Basketball well, I, is a simple game. It's well, not I physics. You, you know? I, I, I tell you, man, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed. It's just sitting here with you, and especially this historical gym. I know when I was uh, scouting for Five Star, and I came <laughs> and talked to you about some plays, you said, listen, hey, man, I got, you know, I go coach at Duke camp and some things I do, but, my, you know, you're welcome to take some of my guys, you know. But I was kind of like hesitant to step to you because you just seem like a serious guy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Coach Will, yeah, man. serious. West Charlotte. Yeah, you know, I see your pitch out there on the wall with you know the state yeah. championship team. And, right. So you know, like again, man, Coach, I thank you for even just taking this time out, man. And you know, I'm looking at the banners up here in 1951, 1961, 1963. I was born. I don't want to tell my age. Uh, mm -hmm. 1965, 67. I mean, this school's got some. Some oh, rich, yeah. rich basketball here, um, history here, man. And, and, and again, I, I, you know, I'm going to keep saying it. It's Black History Month. Oh, yeah. And this is, you know, I just hope that the viewers, like, pass this along. Pass it along. But remember, we're in North Carolina. Correct. We're in the Queen City, in Charlotte. No doubt. Hoop State. Yeah. Say it again. Hoop State. <laughs> yeah, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Hoop State. Still standing on it. Still standing I love on. everybody. Bro. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me. Yeah, and that's what uh, you, we were talking about, like, when I coached at AU. It's bigger than what we know, because mm. when we went to the Nationals, Indiana was, everything was geared toward yeah. North Carolina, because, you know, Indiana think they're the basketball. Yeah, the hoop state. They, they, they yeah. The hoop state. We're the hoop state. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. We had a lot of talent out there. We had a lot of talent. And see, I didn't even mention Jason Parker. You know, they Jason, him on. They talk Jason about put, it. you know, we went to a whole new level with Jason. Wow. You know, Jason was working, you know, I don't know what happened with the situation, but his dream was to play at Carolina. I know. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> but throughout, you know, his success, we took four players to ABCD. 
Oh, up there to Sunny. Up there to Sunny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up there to Sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Because, he, you know, he could have gone to Nike. Well, we, we took three. And uh, when we got there, they said, where's Marcus Oliver? Oh, you know, I said, the best Oliver. player on your team what, ain't with you. You know, but we just Dominic Town. Marcus Dale Dominic Town. Yeah. And uh, this is because of Jason. And then I coached uh, an all-star game in L.A. With Jason, we had uh, Kurt Hunt, Gilbert Arenas, Ooh. Drew Good. Oh, yeah. Jason Parker was the MVP of the, of the game. Mm. Was his class. Wow. Yes, yep. yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just the uh, fake made it where he didn't make it to the highest level, you know. But, but he might be the best player I've seen. Sure. Whoa. Yeah, just for yeah, just a little bit of background on who he's talking about. Shout out to Jason Parker. I remember being like a kid and we outside on the track messing around, playing a little football or something, and they didn't have practicing. And Jason, we knew when he dunked it. <laughs> <laughs> stuff shaking, stuff yeah. coming off the bricks on the wall. I'm like, Man, you gotta go out of high school or something. I mean, he was unbelievable. He's definitely he one of the most unbelievable players I ever seen. He was so dominant, man. It was like high school Shaq, for real. No doubt. For real. No doubt. Hey, it was Sean one story Jason. I got to tell you. Yeah. And I'm not knocking anybody, but, you know, we played uh, Olympic High School at the uh, Coliseum, the one that used to be on top of all the road. Oh, yeah, the high. Yeah, the, the high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we went to the press conference and all this, and, Coach David Davis was saying, yeah, be prepared for an upset. You know, I don't mm -hmm. talk out there. Right. You know, be prepared for an upset and such and such. And Jason came to me, he said, Coach, I love playing against uh, George, George Leach, Leach. Yeah, <laughs> that went to uh, Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. And Calvin, he said, I love playing. I said, well, this is going to be a t and you know, I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be a tough matchup. The first pass on the secondary break went to Jason inside. <laughs> you know, we yeah. say body on first, open up. Right. Oh my God, I feel sorry for Joe. <laughs> he put that body on in the what you say, the rim? I told you. <laughs> the rim was rattling like that. We I went, know, hey, we break. beat him by 40. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, he's just a dominant, dominant. He had 38 and 15 in the state championship game against Wilmington Lane, Michael mm -hmm. Jordan's high school. Oh, Lane. Yeah. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's probably starting, I think, with an alley to chase. Wow. That's yeah. all he needed. Wow. That's wow. our he team. Like that. We fed off exciting play. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this was all built on. Yeah, exactly. Like playing hard in the crowd yeah. and just the and community. And that defensive pressure, right. you know, yeah, it's all about it. Oh, I, I can tell that this is exciting for this guy. He's holding on to that ball like it. Yeah, gotta hey, he a, keep rubbing it. You got to have a pill hey. in this. Listen, <laughs> listen, for you viewers out there, listen, this is, this is, this is, this we is can something you probably drill, ain't going to see again. Yeah, I, I, the coach going to put me through a workout. <laughs> man, it, you know, he's holding on that ball. He's taking a few jumpers over here. Yeah. Oh, man, he was excited about this, man. I know I was. I, it, and, and he told me, he said, Coach, how are you finding We finding it. <laughs> See, man, coach, since I was like 12. Yeah, it's, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. Yeah, man. But, Coach, man, it's, it's uh, I, again, man, I don't know. It's just for me, man. I'm just, I'm looking at some stats. He started, say he started coaching in 77, 39 years. Uh, this is, this is, uh, this is some serious information here, man. Serious, man. Serious information. Yeah, man. I mean, it um, it I was mean, a long time. They, they, when I went to Marvin Ridge my last seven years, they mm -hmm. said, Coach, you can make 40. I said, you don't do 40 years for murder. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> <laughs> but I had some great players out there as well. You know, uh, right. well, Johnny Mezzi played for me. That uh, He just graduated from Army a few years ago. Right. And, uh, man, he was good. His brother, little brother played a year or two for me. Emeka, imagine, was wide receiver at NC State. Okay. Yeah. Man. We were right across the street from Antoine James. You know. yeah, he's another one. Exactly. He's another one. My uncle court. used to live right next to him. Did it? And uh, yeah, he did. They, they was like, they lived, I believe, Roswell's Ferry Road. Like yeah. when I was a little kid. Right, then. right. So Torn, I didn't really see him play. The first time I saw him play, I was like, this is some Michael Jordan type stuff, bro. Yeah. Like, dunked on. They, he played at Providence. I forgot who they played. Maybe uh, Myers Parker, Darren. Antoine. Antoine James dunked on five people. Hey. First time I ever seen that. 
Done. You brought back another story. Come Ooh, on. Come on with it. That's what we here for. <laughs> that's all I'm here for. Yeah. I need to we hear. We played NC Antoine played at Providence. And I had Kelvin Clyburn, Carlos John, Carlos Brown, Tyler. What was Tyler? What was the Terrence Tyler? You know, and he came off the bench. His daddy was Terry Tyler that played with the Pistons. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, his mom would get mad. Matter of fact, he went to App State, played for Buzz. But we played Antoine, the coach was like, we feel like we the only team. We were 23 and 3 that year. Mm. His coach said, well, we the only team that can match up with you man to man. Wow. I felt bad for Antoine. <laughs> 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 we beat him by 30. They wow. be torn him by 30? Man. Oh, we need to hear that. Hey, we gotta see, come back. Yeah. I've never heard nothing bad about Antoine. Oh Jones no, he could play. No, he was good. I'm talking about like losing, yeah. like something like that. Oh, but I he believe it. it. I believe. Twenty years ago, beat him by thirty. Work, uh, okay. We used to work the Hornets camp together. Yeah. Yeah, he's my man. Work, yeah, but you know that was a different level. But, yeah, but yeah, see, man. that's the year we went twenty. That's the year it hurts me a little bit. We were twenty-three and three, and we lost in the. Sectional finals to East Met, which we'd already beaten twice in mm -hmm. triple overtime. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Yeah, I think, what was it, Roderick Howard? West Shaw was good that year. Mm -hmm. We would have gone to that final. That would have been the Elite Eight. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a team. I knew that, I knew we could win. Jamal was uh, coming up the bench. Jamal was a Touche's little brother. Touche, Touche little, little brother. brother. He was coming up the yeah. He was a sophomore that year. He ended up playing for me here. Well, hard in 11th grade, here in 12th grade. Mm -hmm. Coach, I just want to, like, because, like, like I said, this is a lot of tradition in this building, and then the community is traditional. Um, so just a little bit, I want to, you know, one of my big homies who you just mentioned, so I'm going to kind of piggyback off that. Okay. Can you talk about, like, the competition level of Jeff McGinnis mm -hmm. and how the competition was at the, because the wreck is down, the, you can walk to the wreck basically, mm -hmm. and then you got West Charlotte right here. Right, right. In this community, and we can't wait to get Shay on here, man. Touche, Jeff McGinnis, uh, Charlotte's own. Uh, lobbying for him to get that John C. Smith job. So, you need to lock in on that. How was that time of him Cause he was like the standard for us. I'm from right, West Boulevard. We right. all from the West Side. I'm from West Boulevard, you know. Right, right. So like we watched him go from the wreck to West Charlotte to Carolina, play in the league for over 13, 14 years or something. We all wanted to do that, especially from where we from. Exactly. You, know, you, 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 you play your way out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How was that time? Of oh, his but upbringing see, with and, the guys? and it's hard to watch like basketball right now compared yeah. to that. But I played with Touche's dad in high school. He played oh, come on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait yeah. a minute. You gotta repeat that. You played with his father? Played his father, dad his father yeah. played with me in high school. Yeah. And he was playing a year in the conference, in football and basketball. And then over basketball, you talking about Walt Davis, Mark Griner at South mm -hmm. Mac, you know. And he, he went on to play football at Winston Salem State. But Touche was just a winner. Mm -hmm. And he came in the era it was a bad era for West Met mm -hmm. because at that time, this community, ninth grade, you had to go to West Met. So ninth grade, Touche and Junior Burroughs went to West Met. Wow. But they had the opportunity. Junior Burroughs. Junior Burroughs. You no. know, Junior? Yeah, they had the opportunity to come back to West Charlotte in 10th grade, which both of them did. Yeah. And Touche, well, Touche was a year behind Junior. So, you know. Junior came back, but I think he went to Oak Hill. It was his senior year. Touche went his junior year, but his 10th grade and his 10th grade year or his 11th grade year, he won his championship. But wish I won back to back, 91, 92. State championship. Is it up there? And 93. And 94. Wow. Y'all was yeah. going crazy. <laughs> 90, 91, 92, 93, and 94. Listen, who do I talk to those, to get the first on the court? Who do I talk to? Yeah, but still, that's crazy. But they won back-to-back state. Well, eight of them were mine. Oh, 
Hey, talk, talk, coach. No, I'm not talking. No, I'm not talking. Yeah, what you said? How many of them? How many of them, coach? Eight of them. Eight of them. It's still right, sad. Eight in a row. Listen, you who do I talk to? Something. Who do I talk to to get your name on this court, man? Because something ain't right here, man. <laughs> something ain't right Sorry here. Sorry, Coach McCullough, but you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach McCullough's not talking about that. Coach McCullough, he started it out. Yeah, Coach started it out. I take that back. But I don't know what happened. Matter of fact, we talked to each other about it. And, you know, it is what it is. But we will, you know, if they can't. Put both of your names on. If they one on one it. side, right? Yeah. We do that. One well, one in, one I live one. for the school. The white McCullough Court. Yeah. 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 Well, let's, let's do that. his name on the gym. <laughs> oh, coach. Yeah, yeah, just put me on the floor. Oh, okay. oh, who put coach on the floor then? Come on, West Side. Right behind us. What are we talking about? Come on, Dub C. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't see that. Yeah. Coach, they just did it. They, you know, it's only been a year or so. But I was looking. He go way back in the day to the 60s. Oh, yeah. He coached me. I played for Coach. Oh, okay. I'm in the one D era. I apologize, oh, okay. Coach McCullough. Yeah. I apologize for love that, you, Coach. Yeah. Love, you. love you. Love. Apologize for that one. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. he, and that's when people call me a legend. I, I'm always like, I played for Coach. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? I didn't know that, man. That's yeah. He was here for 33 years. I only did 11 years here. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, that right but there tells me a lot. The 60s, man. In 51. Hey, come on, like. Oh, that's well, see now, see, now you're going back because yeah. they had Daryl Cherry play with C.J. Montgomery. Yeah. Daryl Cherry ended up trying out with the Cowboys, but he was a hell of a basketball player. Daryl Cherry? Greg Ross uh, played on that team when they played Kim Huban in the 60-something state champ. It was one of the first high school championships on TV, and then win that one. Mm -hmm. And his brother, Greg Ross's brother, Ronald Ross, played with me at West Sharp. Hell of a point guard, the best point guard I know. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And then we got on to Herb Gwynn. Herb Gwynn, Dean Smith used to do a, a basketball camp for the yeah, uh, here in sure. Charlotte at the Rec Center. And one player he'll pick out of the stands to play Charlie. He picked to play Charlie Scott. Herb Gwynn. At played at the Rex Center. You know, you talking about two mm -hmm. That's, what I want That's where they grew up yeah. at the Rex Center. He, I ain't gonna tell you he beat him, but he did. It got whoa, ugly whoa. for him. He came yeah, over there playing oh, around. But he, he, got he went to Prairie Oh, her. Yeah. Preview. And uh, but Dean quit coming. I, you know, I don't remember it much after that. Yeah. Yeah. But um, man, them guys. And you, you know, I'm leaving out people like Rick, uh, Willie Joplin. You know, he Willie. came in the, well, Scooby. They call him Scooby. Willie came from Second War. When they shut down Second War. Yeah. He, got, he had a move he did on Longbury. The kids in the community, they just called it the Scooby. They yeah. come down on the break and yo yo that thing out yeah. and bring it back. You see? <laughs> you see play? Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, he did that. Yeah. It became the move at the rec center. Everybody was doing it, you know? And I, I'm leaving out players after players. Came you can't name everybody. Yeah, you can't name everybody. So many, man. There's so many. They know what it is. Yes. know what it is. I know I'm overwhelmed. I know he is. Because yeah, he, he said it. He holding on to that basketball like, I got to hold this during this interview. Man. I got to hold and, and you talk coach, about the man. rec center, you know. It's yeah, the like rec players, was with. Some of them, you, you know, you would be a man. It was a kid, uh, Mac Wall. He moved in from New York and played in North Mac. And he like grabbed the side of the backboard down the rec And this the first time I seen Come on, that. Man. And came around, and you know, and done yeah. that thing. I said, boy, this young buck can play right here. Mm -hmm. You know, I was still, I might have been coaching maybe early or, or maybe still been in college. But, you know, you just see so much stuff down here. Yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of it because it's always been. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's always been a legendary area. <laughs> yes, you yes. Know, yes. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm going to shout out a couple guys. Shout out to my point, my first point guard ever. AU Charlotte Nets, 10 years old, J Rock. Ooh. J Rock uh, played for me. J Rock. Yeah, I know he played for you. And Loopy, his big Loopy, brother. Yes. Yeah, yes. that was my guy. Oh, that's man. a shout out right there. Yeah, yes, really it is. 14. Shout out to my people. Yep. Everybody, like, how you, his pants was bigger than he was. <laughs> yeah, and his feet was bigger than he was. <laughs> Where well, you going to grow, Jake? <laughs> well, he, was the, he was the first um, real, real. What team was that? Charlotte Nets. Charlotte Nets. We were 10 yeah. and 11. Yeah, 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Man, that guy. Yeah. And you know what? He played on a team with Curtis Withers. Mm. Jalen Withers. Yeah, Jalen Withers' dad. 
Jalen Williams at Carolina and, right yeah, now. Yeah, Charles yeah, Charles. yeah. The one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
whatever would happen to go, whatever happened to going out and putting up 500 jumpers, you know? Yeah. You know, 500 layups, right hand, 500 yeah, with exactly. left hand, you know, shot fake, you know, you know, I, I may have, you know, maybe going overboard with it, but I'm just talking about when I was coming up, you know, when you, when you knew it was time for the trial for the high school team, you, you went to work. You put the work in. You put the work in. Yeah. You know, but players, I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know today. I watched the game the other day. Uh, shout out to Vince Walden, assistant coach at Texas A&M. I watched them. They beat Tennessee. Then they turned around and lost against Vanderbilt. Stackhouse, shout out to Stackhouse. And I sent Vince a, you know, a little message of what I thought about the game. And I said, Vince, your guys laid down. Okay. When you going on the road to play and the team's not better than you, you got to put them away early. Yeah. All right? So when they do try to throw some punches to get back, you already got a big margin. He hit me back later on yesterday. He said, you know what, Coach? He was right. You know, guys, look, listen, you got you to you stay coachable. You know, and that's the key. A lot of these kids now, they, you know, I don't know, man. It's, it's just different. I mean, maybe you can touch on that, Coach. What do you <laughs> say? I mean, you've been out the game a little bit. Yeah, you know. I, I retired in 2014. Yeah, right, it's, right. It's a whole lot different. You wow. Know? And, and to me, when I go to, like, high school games and uh, I watch on uh, college, you know, it's different because I think, like you said, in that heat we used to play. You got to play. But we understood the game. So, you know, if I pass to you and you don't jump to the pass, I know I'm a rim cut automatically. Mm, you know you're hearing I mean? this, you're hearing this. Uh, He's teaching do, right now. If you do jump, I'm going to screen away. We could play the game and we play defense and pick up. Now they want to pick the best guys on one team so everything can slaughter. They can throw alley hoop, shoot 50 foot threes. Wow. And, and wow. you know, the competition is missing. They don't compete out there. They, you know, everything that would coach, it was a competition. You win this sprint, you got ones at the neck at the end of practice. Mm, yeah. mm. And then they going at the one because they don't want him to win. You know, I didn't know I was a psychologist, but it became a psychologist. <laughs> basically. We experience that happens, but like yeah. what you just said, I, you, you touched on, um, you know, that's accountability. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. y'all, y'all groomed guys like Jeff that we came under. Um, some other guys that did, that's from West Charlotte, but didn't go to West Charlotte. Vincent Greer, some of these guys. Oh, I know Whoa. Vincent. Yeah. yeah. Vincent Greer, no. So like we came up, he was on our side, Nations Ford and Vegas. Uh, right. right. Ford. But we had those dudes that held us accountable. So right. it was like, you can't run from the cop. Unless you want to go play with the babies. Thank you, man. <laughs> play exactly. with us. You say they don't treat you like us. And all of them was D1 <laughs> and all of them was pros. You know what I'm saying? You just touched on yeah. right there. You, you got held accountable. Yeah. And, like, you know, now, if you're one of the better <laughs> players on the team, yeah. they don't want to guard the best man. My son, my oldest son, played at Davidson, Damien. Mm -hmm. Damien White. He wanted to guard Vincent because he knew, you know, Vincent was, yeah. I don't know if he knew he was going to the league, but he was good. He very good. Trust me, he's very, you know, very and, much. And, 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 you know, you also <laughs> talk about the people that had the potential to go. There was a guy at Independence, uh, Tony Barry. Tony Barry. Nice. Barry. Uh, Barry. B-A-R. Yeah. 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 Nice. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Double Oaks, right mm -hmm. down here. Wow. Went to Independence. Mm. Joe B. Thomas went to UNC Charlotte. He ended up having a great career. Mm -hmm. He couldn't carry his... Then, Jock scrap. Uh, you go ahead and say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah. Tony, and he'll tell you, I ain't not. He can freaking play. And, and you know, NC State offered him. I don't know what happened. With grades or whatever. Ain't but, yeah, ball, yeah, nice. yeah. You know, this is guys that disappeared, you know. Yeah. But he could freaking play. Joby was really good. Joby was good. As, shooter. Yes, but yes. Tony yeah. was on some, like, yeah. you know, like, Real different NBA level. Type yes, yeah. Thank you remember you, that guy? You remember yeah. 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 He older than me, but I remember. Yeah. I ain't heard his name in a long time, though, but I seen him. I used to see you him. You saw him play? Yeah. He was unbelievable, man. Uh, Tony White. Yeah. Tony White Tony played White. independent. Tony, Tony and I worked at camp down in Rock Hill together. And we used to say we were cousins, but Tony, they called him the Wizard at University of Tennessee. <laughs> Come on. Tony, every, but Tony made it to the league for, you know, maybe a year or two. But I also coached Pro-Am 
<laughs> and we won like six championships in the pro am. But you know, I ain't really do no sub. Byron Jenkins, Dante Jeez. Johnson. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Byron, hey, Byron, Byron in Jenkins. high school. Oh my God. How good was he? Byron Jenkins. Byron Jenkins right? was crazy. It, crazy. Still was good and when he got older. It, it very good. Muggs, man, we played Muggs, Muggs and Dale was playing in the pro am. Michael Jordan. Man. Oh man. You know they come. We can be here at eleven o'clock at night. No, at some point stop. we gotta shut it down. At some but point. I gotta tell you just loving it like this. Just keep giving it up. Hey, hey, I know where give it up. I'm chilling. Give it up. Dink <laughs> was the only one that I knew. He coming at you full speed. Muggsy trying to guard. But he coming full and had that crossover with them long arms. That's K.C. Rivers' uncle, yeah. K.C. Rivers' yeah, uncle. Yeah, K.C. Rivers' uncle. 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 See, we yeah. played in the old gym when K.C. played for Independence. Right. And yeah. we used to keep the heat blowing on the opposing team. Man. <laughs> Yo, come on. K.C. was over there like, I'm like, let him run. We gonna yeah. press him <laughs> run. Yeah, he yeah, over yeah. there with grabbing his toes and sometimes yeah. to get them cramps out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But K.C. could play. Casey he had a good long overseas career. I'm sorry, he might still, he he still be playing over there. He's he still playing over there. He's still over there with, yeah. with his family, his kids, and just good, collecting man. them checks and yeah. <laughs> getting buckets still. Because Dink used to come to the game, you yep. know, but he could get buckets there. Yeah, yeah Dink was cool, man. Yeah. Oh, was man, cool. but yeah, but Byron. Yeah, Dink was the guy. You know, the when show. I came down here, he was still balling. When I got yeah, here, like, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying, I, you know, because that team, you know, I was at Harden, and Brady had especially was, you know, uh, affiliated with Harding technology and all. So I thought I was going to get paid. I didn't get paid. I just won championship. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> and that was the biggest, biggest Anthony from that, man. <laughs> but them guys, boy, they love to play. Yo. Yeah, Joe Badger, Coach what's his name? He was at Carmel Creek. He was at Carmel Creek. Yeah. Joe he was on the team. Joe yes. was the one that got me in the coaching. Yeah, help, you know, we stayed. We yeah. had some players on that team. I love how y'all had like we interviewed Coach Rod Seifert, Coach CJ, Coach cool. Gary yeah. Sergeant. Yeah, all y'all spoke so highly of each other, and all y'all built this culture within high school basketball, AAU, and then just culture of like team. You know, y'all knew who was gonna be nice and who wasn't, but y'all coached everybody the same. It wasn't no special treatment because you this person or. You don't get it because of this guy. <laughs> if I got, if I'm the best player on the team, you'll come pick me up, and the worst player on the team, you go pick him up with me. Take us to McDonald's after practice. Bring us back home. Mom and them got to work. So that's the kind of like, you know, that's what we, that's the basis kind of the integrity of our podcast. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people have kind of lost that in this generation with social media. How old are you? Oh, you well, you got so much intellect in you, you about fit. Yeah, so, yo, yo, yo. Uh, and that is exactly right, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, yeah. now, for some reason, and I hate to say this, but if they, they see that ability in the kid, yeah. like you got this special talent, but they're going to treat you like you in the NBA. You're not there yet. You got to go to class. You got to do the school work. You, know what I'm you, you ain't know? going nowhere with that. And then the worst player. This is the worst thing in the world what they're doing now because I'm going to tell you the one reason I'm going to let y'all go. Because Steph Curry, from the ninth grade to the twelfth grade, improved every year. Wow. We played in the Christmas show. Wow. And, and I'm watching. I, but I knew him then. My son used to spend the night with him. Reggie Bratton, we talking about. Reggie Bratton played for me. Tough, Reggie Bratton it's improved from 10th grade to 12th grade. Every year, had a great overseas career. Titus Ivory, little Titus, from the time he played on 14 AU, bitch, went to Penn State, great overseas. Now he has assistant coach at Queen. They improve every year. So when this guy is the worst so-called, not the best player, but they working their butts off, mm -hmm. you never know because you got a special talent. God mm -hmm. gave you a half of your talent. You know, but this guy, like, Titus didn't have that. You know, Reggie didn't have that. Right. But Reggie, you know, knew the game. You know, Reggie was smart. Was smart. Played hard as hell. Hey, I'm about. yes. Wow. You hey. remember this guy? Yeah, but he, he was my class. Yeah, Reggie was oh, He might have been guy. a year younger than me, I think. But yeah. I know every time. Because we used to, this is back when we used to actually hoop every day. Yes. 
So like, I would have to play against <laughs> Reggie every day at the Dow YMCA or at the rec center somewhere. And we never got to play against each other, like, because he went here. We never got a chance to play West Charlotte. Right, uh, but I wanted because to. we couldn't I play. Wanted, I wanted you. you did. I know, a lot of y'all, a lot of the private school coaches didn't. <laughs> I because know. we were good. No, I was like, yeah. now nah, put them on every year, coach. Put them on. Yeah, we're gonna try to figure but, it out. You know, <laughs> coach, but, uh, but you coach know, we worked uh, Carolina Campbell. Yeah, we couldn't do it. Yeah, and, I know. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and you know, and then uh, Langston used to push it, push it. Yeah. He was the reason, probably. Well, we could play in like Christmas tournaments right. and that, yeah. but that's how we played Steph. Yeah, and yeah. you know I never forget this coach because when we got bad, Sean called time out of thirty eight. It was like the end of my career at West Charlotte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so deal, he was beating my point. Yeah, in the deal? we in the won the deal, deal two yeah. years. Wow. Yeah, yeah and see with J Rock two thousand five. I'm not took my own horn, but. That's the year I won, Coach of the Year, because we didn't have one player. Hey, Coach, you listen, you got to hit the collars every now and then. You know, you know? but it's because of the team thing you were saying, like, shoot one through 15, if you can trip, we can win. And yeah. we went all the way. Jamie Skeen and CJ. Oh, Jamie Bishop Skeen. To Shout out to Jamie yeah. Skeen. Yeah. Jamie got to come on the show. Five-star camp as well. Yeah, Jamie got to get on the show, you know. It's, 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 it's I'm going to cut you off. But they never win without CJ Young. CJ left us and went to North off the black CJ Young was tough, man. I remember mean, CJ Young. That dude was yeah. tough, man. Yeah, he was. Well, Coach, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to let uh, Morrow close it out. Uh, you spoke about Curry. Curry, um, Garfinkel, Howie Garfinkel, man, he rest in peace. I think he was, he was going into his senior year, and Garfinkel said to me, he said, Howie, we got to get him up here. We got to get him up at the Homesdale camp. Anybody know about Five Star? Homesdale was in August. It's like the last week. And he came up there, and he held his own. And golf was like, you know, this is going to help him. Yeah. You know, he said, how this is going to help him. And there's an interview that he gave where he said the competition was tough and it toughened him up. And then and the rest is history. And you look at him now. You know, you look at him now. You know, he's just, he's just, he's continuing to, to, to progress. You know, that's, that's the key. Crazy. That's the key, man. So it's that's it for me. Like I said, we had a lot to talk about. And uh, Moro's going to close it out with some close it out. I got I got I got to ask about one guy cause <laughs> just before I close out. Just okay. So uh, you know, like I, I consider this guy like the first childhood prodigy that we yeah. saw growing up. Now head coach of Western Carolina University, Justin Gray. Oh. Jay Gray. Jay Gray. Jay Gray is still with me. <laughs> oh, See, Jay I ain't know that. Got another five, ten minutes with this. Jay Gray. Uh, Jay Gray Come called me. Come on, the show, man. Yeah. Jay, and see, you know, Jay Gray and Big Kirk with us. Big Kirk. They were Another like, uh, they were yeah. ninth graders. They said I deprived them of the ring we won in 99 because mm -hmm. they should have been there. But, yep. you know, at the dub, you got to earn your way. <laughs> I told people, because my brother was like, <laughs> yesterday, my brother, shout out my brother, Domingo Crawford Buster. He, uh, he was like, you got y'all interviewing Coach White? I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, first thing he said, Asking why Jay Gray and Kurt was on JV that year. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I said it was nice, bro. Like that yeah. let you know how nice they was. Them two pros right there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I was gonna tell you this yeah. before the podcast. Mm -hmm. So I opened the gym when Saturday. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I'm going to the Hornets game. Mm -hmm. Big Kurt's in here. Antoine Robinson played in Temple. Yep. Twan. Yep. Twan. Mm -hmm. Chris Paul. Boy, the gym was low. I said, y'all. Uh, I told Jay Gray, call me, or Chris, you know, call me, because I'm going to Hornets, so I come back and lock up the gym. Yeah. Man, they still in here playing. You and Chris that. Paul has stayed up all oh, yeah. <laughs> you, he was like two seconds. Chris Paul was a win. Um, yeah, you know? absolutely. And that separates, you know, whatever. But Jay Gray, Jay Gray could shoot that motherfucker when he got off the bus. Man, he was cold. And, and you tell him, and he, he gonna laugh, but I'm the only one that beat him in horse. Jay Gray, you hear that? Coach Say, do, you, do you want your rematch, Jay Gray? Come on, coach. Yeah. Hey, he, Come back he, to your high got, school. I got to do it in the, <laughs> the old gym tore down. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> but okay. Reginald Bo, man, I'm going to tell you, Reginald, we call him Poo Poo. Yeah. Poo Poo be sitting from 40 feet out. You know, yeah. we played um, Ashbrook in the Christmas tournament. Uh, no, we played, yeah, we, no, we played uh, Providence at the Ashbrook Christmas tournament. Wow. And they came out in the uh, two, three zone. He was at the circle. And you know, that's his range. I didn't even watch him, you know. I'm like, okay. 
Yeah. He had three in a row out there before they came out came out the zone. But he, he this guy, he played for the what was the Sonics? It was the original one. Sonics. The Nets. Sonics, Sonics, then, Sonics then the Nets. Then I played Nets. for the Nets. He played Sonics. for the Sonics. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, he played for East Mac, and he ended up playing for me here at West Side his senior year. And he's and Poo Poo, if you hear this, you got all my tapes from that year. Can you please please bring them? <laughs> <No. laughs> Poo Poo, it was the footage, bro. We are gonna drop you, 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 you in it. We gonna drop you in the show, bro. <laughs> Listen to Coach. Come on, yeah. OG. We here. Yeah. Both sides of the game, baby. We here. Yeah, yeah, man. I um just in closing, Coach, man. I know, uh, you know, this has been this has been great. It's been legendary. Um, we super honored to have you on, especially in this gym that you helped build. Um, but uh, we just we just give you give you your flowers. That's what we do on, on, on this show. And um, you know, I know you retired now, but we got this segment called Both Sides of the Business. So um, you know, we kind of talked about a little bit how you're still getting game back, like with this right here, for example. You know, and then your son going on to play. So just tell us a little bit about like what you got going on now. We know you. Yeah, I'm retired, but yeah, I. I would like to, um, you know, I talk to you even about doing like podcasts to help them. Yeah. Not junior high coaches, but I still work at Duke. I've been at Duke 28 years yeah. doing the basketball camp. So I, yeah. and you get, I get it out of my system, right. you know, for two weeks, three weeks, I go up there. And now it's the day camp. It used to be overnight, but I still love it. And right. I did it with Co when Coach K was there, and now I'm with Coach Shia. Yeah, okay. and, uh, John, John, yeah, John. yeah, I see a lot. Still in your man. blood, man. You still love it. Can't get it. Can't get it. You can't get it out. You can't get it out. And I, I really, really, really don't like to talk about coaches, you know, because it's a hard game to coach. Yeah. But when you go out and you see the, the kids aren't getting better, you know, I have a problem with That's that. a problem. Yeah, know? yeah. Or they don't recognize certain situations, you know, I, I got a problem with that. But And I think, you know, it can be better, and if it's some way the three of us maybe could help these coaches, but some that you know coaches have big egos, <laughs> and they don't want help because they read books and look at tape and they think. Man, they listen, know coaching it. clinics are necessary. But they are, and I went to them myself. The kids are, are egos, the coaches' egos just as bad. Yeah, yes. Exactly. That's like now <laughs> because they don't want no help. disrespect. Oh, I did. Bro, I'm no disrespect. Yeah. But I went to those things. I used to go to Carolina coaches' clinic. Coach Clinton, the Coach Clinton's in Greensboro, and I went to the classes, you know, yeah, until I got yeah. old. Picked up. Because, you know, you start realizing you can't do everything they do, but you pick out what you can use that your kids and the child level can learn. And it's something maybe we can help out with. Absolutely. Down the road. We're going to get to work. Down the road. We're going to coach, man. We're going to close it out. Everybody, man, thank you all for watching continue to like subscribe and follow both sides of the game podcast link in the bio at the top youtube channel both sides of the game podcast episode nine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate you coach man we're gonna close it out like that Thank y'all very Thank much. You. Thank you for finding me, Coach Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> we found Coach. And we thank the Lord. Yeah, right. we thank, thank the you, Lord. Thank, thank you, man. Peace, everybody. Peace and love. Yes. Get a shot up there.